And after three ballots and a six hour delay, the Conservative Party has a new leader. Aaron O'Toole claimed victory early this morning, promising to unite the party and hold the Trudeau Liberals accountable. David Aiken has the latest. In the end, it wasn't even close. Aaron O'Toole won on the third ballot with 57% support. Peter McKay, who finished second, had just 43% support. O'Toole's strength was powered by very strong finishes in Alberta and in Quebec. He smoked his competition in Quebec, winning 65% of the support in that particular province. So Aaron O'Toole becomes the third permanent leader of the Conservative Party of Canada, following Andrew Scheer and Stephen Harper. O'Toole, 47 years old, he's been married to Rebecca for 20 years. They have two young kids, Molly and Jack. O'Toole's background is quite varied. He started out in the military, served as a navigator on Sea King helicopters, sailed with the Canadian Navy, and then worked on Bay Street as a corporate lawyer before joining Stephen Harper's government as the member for the riding of Durham. As a member of Stephen Harper's government, among other things, O'Toole was the Minister of Veterans Affairs, and he has stayed in, the, in Parliament uh, right up until now. The big challenge now for O'Toole, unite the party. And he gave a great speech, albeit at two in the morning, to signal that unity was job number one. Why was the speech at two in the morning? The Conservatives had all sorts of trouble on Sunday trying to count the ballot. It turns out one of the automatic machines that opens ballots was slicing in to the actual ballots and damaging them. So many ballots had to be hand processed and that took a lot of time. The winner wasn't announced until 1 a.m. Eastern Monday morning. That aside, O'Toole was thrilled to take the job and now he's got to prepare his Conservative Party of Canada for a federal election whenever that may come. David Aiken, Global News, Ottawa. But in the news, Aaron O'Toole, an MP from the GTA, has now taken over the leadership of the Conservative Party. O'Toole, and a member of Parliament, in fact, for Durham since 2012. Catherine Ward is outside his constituency office in Bowmanville this morning. Good morning, Catherine. Good morning, Anthony. And yes, Conservatives, they have crowned their new leader. No longer Andrew Scheer. He has stepped back. And Aaron O'Toole now in the top job. And those results came in very late last night. It was several hours delayed given some technical issues in counting those votes. But we now know that Aaron O'Toole will be leading the party. And he is no stranger to the political game. He was elected as an MP back in 2012. And he has been serving this region ever since. Um, he won that election in a by-election actually and that was triggered after the resignation of Bev Oda and he's just easily held on to the riding since then. Politics is a bit of a family sport for the O'Toole's. Aaron's father John O'Toole served as the MPP for the area between 1995 to 2014. And in last night's victory speech, Aaron credited his father for teaching him the importance of serving the community. Take a listen. My father John inspired me into public service. But like many teenagers, especially those who lost a parent, I gave my dad a hard time growing up. He worked at General Motors for over 30 years, which brought us from St. Therese, Quebec, to Bowmanville, Ontario, to my home in the Toronto area. After high school, I joined the military to gain discipline and to serve the country. It deepened my love for Canada and defines who I am today.